I recently started learning Mandarin Chinese and I am still having a hard time for learning it. I even made electronic flashcards to practice it on the go for the character learning, but it is still pretty damn hard to recognize all those new letters. In this video, I will do a quick review of a dictionary pen and also tear it down and we'll see what's inside of this thing. So I went to Aliexpress and checked for dictionary pens and Yodao was the most famous one on the internet so I typed Yodao to find a suitable pen for my studies and as you can see they have many models let's check this one for example this one has like the pretty major functions pretty much everything that i need but let's check this out instead of typing a brand you can type in a generic term like translator pan and if you type up the uh, model like s3 for example and you would end up exactly the same model like everything is the same about the yudao pan here and i even checked the videos about this yudao s3 pro pan on the youtube and checked out the other reviews and everything like menus and the languages and like everything is the same so i'm not sure if it is worth to pay like five times more of the money for this device or any other device i think it doesn't worth it i think maybe yudao is putting its brand here and maybe they are providing a warranty or something but well you decided is it worth paying four times more money for the exactly the same thing mm. I don't know, even if it is broken down, you can buy four of, more of them and well, I don't think it is gonna broke that often though. Anyway, so it arrived with a pretty generic box and it doesn't have a brand or anything, it is just generic, it says scanning translator and let's open the box and see what's inside and here is the device and let's check if anything else in the box now oh, basically nothing just the user manual with the various languages and let's see if it is going to just open right out of the box it says scanning translator wow it's fine i guess it's taking a little bit time to boot up but it finally did and and I guess we need to first well setup was quite easy you just select the language for the interface and that's it and I would like to try it right away actually and right now it is offline and I'm just gonna scan some words inside this user manual and what do we have here let's scan this word whatever that means First, I think just gonna select the language here. Uh, it is Chinese, a simplified version. Uh, let's try it. Okay, it's scanned and it says base settings. That is good. Let's try something else, and I'm gonna scan this area. Quite the text scanning bath what it was able to scan the text correctly and I can say it is doing a good job for scanning the text and finding the correct characters however the translation is a little bit weird and I don't think that this user manual is even slightly related to taking a bath or something maybe online translation would be better let's see Okay, let's connect to Wi-Fi and try it again. Okay, I connected to Wi-Fi 
and the translation improved quite a bit because at least it is relevant to this manual here uh, probably it is telling us how to operate this device and it is related to the text scan operations guide so well if you are using this device probably you should better connect it to wi-fi and then work it like that or maybe your mobile hotspot but offline guide well if you are in a hurry and don't have an access to internet well it might be helpful in this case as well so let's see what's inside of this thing well there is no screw or anything so to open that probably we need something uh, but i have these things from a broken uh, cell phone screen and i will try to use these things and let's see i think best way to do is from here i guess if i can slide that in i'm not sure if this is gonna work probably they just glued things together so i just put that in i'm just gonna slide that thing all the way around the frame one moment please if you also try to tear down something like this with an lcd i recommend you to leave the lcd open because you can be sure that you are not damaging any connector or, or something while opening it so it's just a quick tip i was able to open the uh, case or screen and it is connected with the flex cable and you need to be careful while opening this thing up because you can easily break this uh, flex thingy and then you can easily remove this part and you can easily remove that part and screen is pretty nice all the driver and everything is here and touch screen is already embedded here so there's a sticky tape over here which was holding it on the uh, case here and well it looks like a pretty decent design actually they uh, went extra effort to uh, place it on the uh, screen and everything is ni nicely tied up and assembled together and nothing much is visible here this is the working mechanism and it is still of course working without the screen but we need to uh, remove the screws to see more because nothing else we can see from here let's remove the screws from here you know what i realized over the years well almost all the chinese products really work better with this uh thingies which is already given free when you broke your screen and it actually makes sense i guess they are giving this type of screwdrivers to their uh, operators uh, the people who installed it and if you use a regular european screwdriver most of the time well it doesn't work as good as these small screwdrivers well maybe there are other better screwdrivers out there but well that's probably a thing that i don't know about the screwdriver thingy anyway that's the thing that i realized i removed all of the screws and i'm ready to open it i think i realized this thing the sticker is actually a wi-fi antenna so be careful not tearing it down while disassembling it if you want to do also the same thing and then this thing is opened and i should say actually for a chinese product this is pretty well designed and even for example i got scared about tearing down this wi-fi antenna but they uh, took the extra effort to put a connector over here so if you even let's say maintenance this thing or fix it well, you won't accidentally broke this uh, connector uh, also there is this mechanism with the springs which is the, actually the main function over here and it is it was sitting like that and every time you push it down you are actually pushing this connector small connector here and it is starting up the camera and also light i just 
put it, I placed it on the thing, and actually this is how the mechanism works. And here you can see the camera connectors, and this can also easily be removed. I cannot remove the camera, probably it is glued or something. You can easily remove it from now on. They even uh, put some pogo pins here and it's probably for the regulations to prevent it releasing not wanted signals for the FCC regulations. What is the back on the back side of it? There is a big lithium ion battery. I think we need to uh, remove the battery to see more what's underneath it. Here's another nice thing. You can just put it down and this shield pops up with the battery as well which is a quite nice thing i think okay, what do we have here this is the memory chip and we have an all winner a133 chip and this is actually an uh, android device and it has one gigabyte memory Oh, sorry ram and 16 gigabytes of memory inside there is another chip here i cannot see it in the uh, camera but i will find it and write it down in the screen while you are watching it and there is another chip here i'm guessing this is for the camera or something uh, well we'll see when i am able to see it on the computer screen well, it is all there is in the device I think it is a pretty decent device. Actually, I wanted to root this device and install another Android applications, but I couldn't find any open ports and I tried to root it uh, by uh, using the USB connector, but uh, I couldn't manage it. And if you know how to do it, well, please put it down in the comments so I can try it because I want to actually see uh, what I can uh, do with this device and play with it because well i really want to actually play with this thing it is already good as it is but well you know it might be a nice toy nice and android toy who knows so that is what inside of a scanning translator <laughs> um if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and see you next time